Ever wondered how you can instantly connect with someone across the globe, watch a live event happening thousands of miles away, or access the entirety of human knowledge with just a few clicks? Well, ponder no more. Today we'll be discussing how the internet works, unveiling the web's secrets from cat videos to connections. We'll delve into the digital universe that makes all this possible. So buckle up for a journey into the World Wide Web. Welcome to Binary Breakdown, your guide to demystifying the digital world. Let's kick things off with a little history lesson. The journey of the internet, this vast digital universe we navigate daily, started with a whisper. In the late 1960s, the US Department of Defense embarked on a project called ARPANET. Picture this, a group of scientists and engineers passing notes in class, except these notes could travel instantly over great distances. It was the genesis of a revolution, the first whisper in what would become a global shout, connecting the world like never before. By the 1970s, this network had grown, and other similar networks began to emerge. But there was a problem. How could these separate networks talk to each other? The solution was a protocol known as Network Control Program, or NCP. It was like a translator, allowing these different networks to understand each other and share information. But as the 1980s rolled around, the internet started to look a bit more like the one we know today. A new protocol took the stage, Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, or TCP-IP for short. If NCP was the translator, TCP-IP was the postman, making sure that these digital notes not only reached the right network, but the right device within that network. By the 1980s, we had the emergence of TCP-IP, the postman of the internet ensuring that these digital notes reach their correct destination every time. Speaking of postmen, ever wonder how your online letters find their way? Just like a letter needs to be addressed, stamped and posted, your data needs to be packaged, labeled and sent off on its digital journey. When you click send on an email or hit play on a video, your data gets split into packets, like tiny parcels of information. These packets, each carrying a piece of the overall data, are like digital race cars, ready to zip through the internet's vast network of roads. The moment they're dispatched, these packets embark on an epic adventure. They might dash along copper wires, surge through coaxial cables, or even zoom through fiber optic cables. But what if there's an ocean in the way? No problem. Undersea cables, like digital mermaids, carry your data packets across the depths, ensuring your message reaches the other side. And for those hard to reach places, Satellites orbiting Earth beam information across the sky, making sure no one's left out of the conversation. But how do these packets know where to go? Each one carries an address, just like a letter, directing them to their destination. Along the way, they pass through routers, the Internet's traffic cops, which read these addresses and direct the packets along the best route. And here's the amazing part. Not all packets take the same path. They might split up, each taking a different route to the same destination. Once they arrive, they're reassembled, like a digital jigsaw puzzle, recreating the original data. From start to finish, it's a relay race of technological marvels, all working together to ensure your data arrives quickly and correctly. Whether you're sending an email, streaming a movie, or yes, watching cat videos, you're part of this incredible journey. So next time you hit send or play, Remember the epic adventure your data is about to embark on. Now you might be thinking, but how do I get onto this superhighway? Well, that's where internet service providers, or ISPs, come in. They are like the gatekeepers of the internet, providing you the means to access this vast digital landscape. ISPs are essentially companies that offer services to connect your devices, be it your computer, smartphone, or tablet, to the internet. They do this by providing you with a unique IP address, which is like your home address in the digital world. Now, these ISPs may connect you to the internet through various means. It could be via DSL, which uses your existing telephone line, cable modems, which utilize your cable television line, or even through satellite and fiber optics. The choice of connection often depends on your location and the type of service you require. But regardless of how you're connected, whether it's through a wired connection or Wi-Fi, ISPs keep you plugged into the endless stream of information, entertainment, and cat videos. Yes, more cat videos. Consider every device linked to the internet as having its unique digital passport, an IP address that announces, hey, this is me. This IP address is a distinctive identifier, 
a sequence of digits that distinguishes your device amidst the immense digital terrain of the internet. But let's face it, who has got the time to remember a whole string of numbers? It's akin to trying to recall everyone's contact number instead of saving them as contacts. That's where the domain name system or DNS steps in. Picture visiting a library without a directory. You'd be bewildered in a deluge of books, right? The DNS is akin to the internet's librarian, guiding you to the correct book or, in this context, website, without the need to recall a lengthy string of digits. When you punch in a web address like youtube.com, the DNS decodes that into the corresponding IP address so your computer can locate the site. Essentially, the DNS is the Internet's directory assistance, converting user-friendly domain names into machine-friendly IP addresses. It's like having an interpreter who is fluent in both human and computer, ensuring you and your device are on the same wavelength. So instead of committing a jumble of numbers to memory, you only need to remember the name. Isn't that a breath of fresh air? Now, if this little nugget of information had you saying, aha, envision what else you could learn by sticking around. Hitting that like button and subscribing is akin to telling the DNS of our channel, hey, continue decoding those intricate tech topics into something I can comprehend. Moreover, you won't miss out on our digital deep dives that convert the ha huh into aha moments. So go ahead, click like, smash subscribe, and let's continue to untangle the enigmas of the internet together. Because who knows? The next time you're impressing someone with your tech-savvy lingo, it could be due to a helpful hint you picked up right here. Here's a thought to ponder. How do you think you find things on the internet? Imagine trying to locate a piece of information on the internet without a search engine. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack, wouldn't it? Search engines are the treasure maps of the digital age, guiding us through the vast ocean of information. They are the silent superheroes that swoop in and save the day when you're lost in the World Wide Web. Now, you might wonder, how do these search engines perform this magical feat? The first step is crawling. Web crawlers, sometimes called spiders, are automated bots that visit every accessible page on the internet. Their job is to gather all the text, images, videos and other data they can find. This information is then stored in a database, a process known as indexing. Think of it as a librarian cataloging every book in a library. But the magic doesn't end there. When you type a query into a search engine, it sifts through its massive index, using complex algorithms to determine which pages are the most relevant to your search. These algorithms consider several factors, like the frequency and placement of keywords on a page, the page's overall popularity, and even the relevancy and quality of other sites that link to it. It's like asking a librarian for a book on a certain topic, and they instantly provide you with the most relevant books, ranked by their quality and popularity. So the next time you find what you're looking for on the internet, remember to tip your hat to the power of search engines. They're the librarians of the internet, always ready with a recommendation, guiding you to the treasure buried in the vast digital landscape. In our digital age, social media platforms have become more than just online gathering places. They're vibrant marketplaces, bustling cafes and expansive libraries. Places like Reddit, Instagram and Facebook are the canvases on which we paint our life stories for the world to see. They're where news breaks, movements start, and once unheard voices can echo globally. But it's not all hashtags and selfies. Social media is a double-edged sword. Yes, it connects us, but it also reflects the complexities of human interaction. The very tools that bring us together can also divide us, creating bubbles that reinforce our views but seldom challenge them. However, amidst these contradictions, social media continues to be a testament to human creativity and connection. It's a global stage where every post, tweet and share is a thread in the larger tapestry of our shared human experience. As we navigate this interconnected world, let's remember to use these tools with responsibility and kindness, fostering connections that build bridges rather than walls. So the next time you scroll, like or share, remember the power at your fingertips. The power to connect, to change, to unite. From one-click purchases to drone deliveries, the world of e-commerce has radically transformed our shopping habits. It's moved us from crowded malls to virtual stores, from long queues to instant checkouts, and from cash payments to digital wallets. In the world of e-commerce, giants like Amazon, Alibaba, and eBay have established a new paradigm of convenience, choice, and customer experience. They've turned the globe into a single, unified marketplace where you can buy anything from anywhere at any time. 
But beyond these consumer conveniences, e-commerce has also opened doors for small businesses and entrepreneurs. It's created opportunities to reach customers worldwide, bypassing traditional barriers of geography and scale. And let's not forget the role of data. Every click, search and purchase we make is a rich source of information. Companies use this data to personalize our experiences, predict our preferences, and even influence our buying patterns. Yet, as we embrace this digital economy, it's also important to be aware of the challenges. Issues like data privacy, cybersecurity, and digital divide are real, requiring our attention and action. As we delve deeper into the world of e-commerce, let's strive to make it inclusive, secure, and fair for all. In this ever-changing digital landscape, the future holds unimaginable possibilities. With the rise of artificial intelligence, machine learning and blockchain technologies, we are on the brink of yet another revolution. Imagine a world where your refrigerator orders milk when it senses you're running low, or a virtual assistant that books your appointments, manages your calendar, and even predicts your needs before you voice them. This is not science fiction, but the reality of the Internet of Things. But the digital future is not just about convenience, it's about opportunities and challenges that could redefine our society. There's potential for massive job creation in new sectors, but also job displacement due to automation. There's the promise of better healthcare through telemedicine and AI diagnostics, but also the risk of privacy breaches. As we stand at this digital frontier, it's critical that we navigate it thoughtfully, ensuring that the benefits are shared equally and the risks are managed responsibly. The internet, a realm where information, connection and discovery converge, has transformed our lives in ways we're just beginning to understand. Here at Binary Breakdown, we're all about unraveling the mysteries of the digital age, making the complex comprehensible and the perplexing plain. Thanks for joining us on today's episode. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to Binary Breakdown for more adventures into the heart of the net. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other content.